This is Kay Ann Miller with Montana No Kid Hungry, and I've been asked to share some information with you today about letters to the editor, op-eds, and story placement. Three things that we often refer to as free or earned media. The thing to keep in mind about free media is something that Forrest Basford, one of the founders of the Livestock Publications Council, said all the days of his career when he was talking about free media. It's a people business. The other thing to keep in mind, besides that it's a people business, is that free media isn't really free. It takes time, energy, and thought. It sometimes takes money, and it requires the same resources from other people as well. The last thing to keep in mind about free or earned media, in fact, all media, is that whether we think so or not, it's always event-based, which is why when you go to a PR training, people spend a lot of time talking about events because these are the basis of news. Now, an event might be just something that happened. And when we were talking about news media, whether it's free, owned, or earned, we're always talking about the five W's. Who, what, when, where, and why. We're really talking about an event that just happened to a person, to several people, to a group. This is the who, the first W. The second W is that something happened. It's the what. The third W lets people know that the event or the happening took place on this day at this time, or it might take place in the future if something like a vote in the Congress takes place, or it might be something that definitely will happen in our opinion if something like a funding cut takes place. In other words, it's the when. We also want to let people know that the thing happened to a community, in a community, in a place, or to a place, and that is the where, the fourth W. The last W tells us why something happened, because of a person, because of an action, because of something that a community did. If we're in journalism school, we're also going to learn two other things that go with the five W's. How did this take place? What's the significance that the happening happened? So who, what, when, where, why, how, And what's the significance are things that we want to be thinking about because our journalistic friends are thinking about them. Looking at each one specifically, letters to the editor is a reaction, a reaction to something that already ran in the media that either we're concerned about or that we're supportive of. The way people say this happens is that you go to the media's website, you fill in your name, information, you type in your letter, you prove that you're not a robot, and you click send. But if you think about it, that's actually a very robotic function. I don't know who this communication is going to, and they don't know me. Remember, it's a people business. If we want something to appear in the Missoulian, for example, we will do much better if we know the majority of these people and they know us. How do we meet them? We go to other people's events. We ask other people for connections. We introduce ourselves. We go to meetings. We shake their hand. We get to know them. We begin to build relationships. Unlike a letter to the editor, the op-ed is positioning yourself or your organization or both as someone who's an expert on the event or happening. Like the letter to the editor, we want to keep our op-ed short, current, factual, and focused on a single topic or event and its meaning. When we're talking about a place article or a news story or a feature story, We also have a little bit more space to educate people. We're still probably reacting to an event or something that's about to happen. We definitely want to position ourselves or our organization as the expert on what's happening. And we want to recognize in order to help our media partners that there are two kinds of happenings. One is a news story or event, something that's happening tonight, tomorrow, Saturday, right away, and a feature article or event, something that's important, it's impactful, and it's meaningful, but it's not as time sensitive. And we need to keep in mind that these are not necessarily stories we're going to write. Instead, we're going to do what's called 
pitching. We're going to pitch a story to our contacts in the media, which means we need to know them. We need to know our beat reporter that covers the category that our event or happening falls into, that our concern falls into, that our story falls into, and they need to know and trust us. Because remember, it's a people business. Between now and the Mount Peck meeting, I hope you'll take some time to think about all the happenings that you are a part of and that your organization is part of, especially those around the topics of concern to Mount Peck. And think about how you could position those as a letter to the editor, an op-ed, or a story. And let's talk about that at the meeting. I'm looking forward to visiting with you. Thanks for listening and have a great day.